Alright guys, today I'm going to show you how to pull IPs off of Skype. Very easy, very easy. Let's start from the beginning. Now you're going to want to run the real version of Skype, not the Windows desktop app. And you are going to just type in resource monitor. You're going to open that up. Once in resource monitor, go to network and you'll see all your different things running. Okay, you're going to want to click Skype EXE. And then under network activity, it'll show all the Skype contacts that are, you know, having come in and out coming. Now, I just did this a second ago. I'm not going to do it again. But I called a friend. And because I called them, it'll show whoever you're trying to get the IP of when you call them. Computer's acting up a little bit. It'll show the highest number of packets. So when I called her, then the highest number of packets popped up. Now you notice I have the IP section hidden, so I don't want to give it away. Even though you see an IP here, this is not the current IP. This was from an old IP um, tool I had. Pretty sure that IP is no longer valid. But to find out if an IP is valid, just go to CMD, type in ping paste it yeah I'll have to type it in manually real quick 173.24.42.60 ping yep So that IP is no longer valid. If it was, I wouldn't have made. I would have been able to make this video. Because I'm not going to give out people's IPs. But that's how you do it. Other cool tricks in command prompt. Go ahead and do a title. And do a little um, like that, and then then like that. Boom. Changes the name up top to hacker panel. If you ever think you may have a rat in your system, like a remote access tool, do netstat space and a dash a n a n o. Now, all these, what you want to look for is establishing. Listening and established and stopped time wait are fine. If you see establishing, that means somebody's actually connected to your computer, can see it, can, can do everything to it. Beware of the damn Microsoft support tech scammers. You ever get them pop-ups? I've been getting them a lot, and every time I get them, I fuck them up. I'll call them and play dumb. And what they'll do is they'll open your command prompt. Another thing, if you want to clear your command prompt, just go ahead and type freaking clear. Oh, wait, a CLR. Shit, what is it? I'm used to... It's, it's clear in Linux. I don't know what it is on here, so we'll open up a new one. That's, that's the thing. Now that I'm learning Linux, I got the Linux commands in my damn head. Alright, run as admin. The only thing is that title thing will not stay there. Alright. So what what they'll do is they'll be like, we're going <laughs> to... I'm not going to do the accent. It makes me sound racist. They'll type in tree and they're going to claim that they're scanning your files, right? This is not a scan. This is just listing your file system. Now, one thing um, they'll try to do is they'll open up run. If you see them open up run, be ready to disconnect from them immediately. Because if they type seski, you're fucked. Right now, if I hit enter, what it, what it does, I, I believe what it does, I've never looked into it, is it creates a password and so it makes it so when your computer pops on that you need a password and, and they set the password very quickly so you'll never be able to log on your computer so those are some tricks and uh, hopefully that's useful with the IP puller now let's go back and see what other um, network activity we are running let's see Okay. 
Okay, this is the one we want to pull down. Okay. Chrome. Okay, so if you have, I believe we can do it with Messenger. If there's some type of Messenger um, app. Oh yeah, this is what happens when um, <laughs> you fall asleep with an old laptop on your lap and the motor fan burns. IPs from um, emails. So somebody emails you, right? Let's just take, let's see, let me find an actual person. It's kind of hard to find people who email me these days. We'll just choose this, all right? What you want to do is go here and hit show original. Okay, then you're going to copy this. Then right here, just type in email IP header trace. Okay. Yeah, web crawler. I know we want to choose web crawler. I got to change it so it opens in the same window. Um, okay. Paste header here. Pasting it. Trace email header. All right, there it is. IP. All right, guys, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, I have tons of tools and things like that, methods of doing things that I don't necessarily want to put out there for the little, you know, kids of the world to use. But uh, anytime, go ahead and comment, leave your Skype information. Comments don't show up unless they're approved. So if you leave personal information, I'll be able to see it and I will not put it visible. So leave your Skype information and uh, I can show you some cool tricks like how to fuck somebody up that fucked you up by fucking pinging the shit out of them. I can also show you how to build a botnet, how to do tons of shit. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Take care.